We get this question quite frequently on DNR and it's about tension in the body during orgasm. So women will write in and say that after an orgasm, they have a headache mm -hmm. or after an orgasm, they have cramping in their stomach. Yes. Carlin, it's happened to me and it, it can be frightening. You know, I wonder, am I having a stroke? Am I going to have a heart attack? What's going on? <laughs> yes. And it's quite simple. What it is, is there's tension in the body. And it happened to me last week with the headache. I wanted to take a quick orgasm before like a school pickup. I didn't have a lot of time, but I should have just relaxed more, right? Because I did have 20 minutes, but I was doing that linear climb. I'm going to control. I'm going to make this happen. I'm going to. And so there was tension in my neck muscles. So we need to be connected to the body and aware when all of a sudden during as the build up to an orgasm, we're getting too tense. And when mm -hmm. we feel it, when we feel tension, we got to let it go. Take some breaths. Take mm -hmm. a quick break. You can stand up. You can take mm -hmm. do a different position, roll over, take a quick pee break, come back. Whenever you notice the tension building, just let it go. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. I stop stimulating myself. Like, like when I feel like I'm just tensing too much, I stop stimulating myself. I breathe into my vulva and just throughout my whole body. You know, I really let myself relax and then I go back to stimulating myself toward orgasm. And that's the perfect thing to do. And the same thing with cramping in the stomach, that's too much, you know, tension you know, we work our muscles and in the pelvic floor muscle. And if you get a mm -hmm. lot of tension, ooh, <laughs> it hurts. And then you get a cramp after. So you're building mm -hmm. up to the orgasm, right? So everything's coming higher and higher and you're holding and holding and holding. And we feel like we're going to lose it. So we keep right. going with the, let it go. Stretch your legs out, right? Mm -hmm. Take a break and then go back. And that's the beauty of the barbell, the weight will naturally engage the pelvic floor muscle and help mm -hmm. keep it relaxed. Sometimes when we don't use an item like a, a dildo or a barbell for penetration, mm -hmm. that muscle can get too tight <laughs> because there's nothing yeah. that it's gripping on. Um, so it's hard. It's a process, but pay mm -hmm. attention to the tension in your body. And when you feel it, but let it go. So you're not going to seize. You're not going to pop a blood vessel <laughs> in your head. Um, it just means that there's too much tension. And I love the point you always make, Laura, that if we breathe before, right, changing and shifting our energy before we start to stimulate ourselves, either alone with a, or with a partner can make all the difference. Do the breath of fire. Stretch out the body connect to your body. That that just makes a world of difference before you start to masturbate, to release the stress of whatever is going on in your world. An orgasm can help relieve stress, but if you're stressed going into masturbation, um, th that can cause too much tension in the body and result in, in headaches or pelvic pain. So remember the rock and roll. Breathe, mm -hmm. right? Tension, tense the muscles, relax the muscles, and enjoy the good feelings.